freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees, Ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. For all the beauty of the high country, it sometimes hides a darker side, a side that creates a fear, a fear of the unknown. Sometimes the darker side comes from the elements, the wind, the rain, the snow, the sun. Sometimes it is brought by man. This time, the darker side came by itself. How it reached the high country is not important. What matters is what happened when it got here. <laughs> Steady, boy. Calm down. What's going on? What is what, eh? That thing that just sneaked into that cave over there. Well, I think I may have seen something. <coughs> Didn't want to admit it, though. Oh, well, why is that new? <coughs> what I thought I saw was quite scary, eh? <coughs> something from a nightmare, really. Yes, Mew, the most ugly thing I think I saw, too. Never seen anything like it before. <coughs> Hope to never see anything like it again. What? Not again. Not more roads into the high country. What? No! Not a man-made monster this time. What? A real one! Oh, come off it. There are no real monsters in the high country. Well, what? I saw one. Huge it was. What? Bigger than a dingo, but smaller than a brumby. What? Growling. Always growling. What? With big mad eyes, like the burning. What? Coals in a man's fire. What? And grey and nasty and ugly. Mm, very ugly. You saw it too. Me? The gang gangs? Whoop! All of us. And you've already told them? Thought we'd be the first. Mm, at the very least, we thought we'd be the first. Oh, hang on. There's nothing around here that's anything like what you're all describing. Well, there is, isn't there, Mew? Dark and nasty and ugly. Mm, with an enormous tail and a giant teeth. Whoop! It didn't have an enormous tail. Mm, the one we saw did, didn't it, eh? Never saw one more enormous. And what about the fangs? Mm, the fangs? Well... Have to spread the news. Bye! Forgetting the emu's usual exaggeration, I don't like the sound of this beast. We better be careful until we find out just exactly what it is. Oh, 
sense danger. Quickly! Run for your lives! <laughs> Faster! It's gaining! <gasps> oh, no joke, Mopoke. Don't think, don't be slow. Just go! <laughs> Faster! It's gaining! <laughs> with us just a few moments ago. <gasps> Mopoke, Mopoke. Oh, thank you, Mopoke. You, you saved our lives. Please don't mention it, not at all. The trumpet sounds, the clarion call. In this our land, it's all for one and one for all. I know, but I'm still very grateful. I'll do the same for you one day, but can I ask another favour? I'm sorry to, but... <laughs> I'll have no but. Could you keep an eye on this one while I... I... Oh, say no more. The deed is done. Go and find the other one. I don't know where he is. I just hope he's all right. I'm just... Ooh. Ooh, go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did anyone hear the noises from the man's cattle during the night? We did. Well, not quite. We almost did. Almost. We heard from Whitbird, who most definitely did. Frightening, she said, didn't she, Mew? Mm, terrifying, she said. Howls and screams. Under attack, they were. <laughs> it's all very worrying. That's all I've got to say. But let whatever it is near my family, and I'll give him what for. That's the spirit, Wombat. Mm, most commendable, Wombat. I'll be quiet, you too. Well, really, then we won't tell you about what happened to Mrs. Dingo and her pups and brave mobo. Yeah, well, we know already. You know? Well, really. Oh, Mrs. Dingo, any news? Still no sign, I'm afraid. I've searched all around where the beast chased us. The pup must have wandered off. I hope he's... Oh, the beast might have him. Mm, yeah, yeah, the beast might have him at oh, this very moment. Quiet, you two. There's no need for alarm. Alarm! alarm. 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 We'll all look. We'll spread the word. He'll turn up. Don't worry. I don't know, Echo. These tracks aren't like anything I've ever seen before. Might be that creature I heard about terrifying the low country. Could just explain those missing calves. Better be careful, fella. Any news of your young pup, Mrs. Dingo? Still no sign of him. I have to assume the worst. He's just a youngster. He could be anywhere. Don't give up on him yet. I won't. I can't. It's just... What sort of creature is this? It's hard to say. It was dark. I just caught glimpses. The flash of huge teeth, shaggy hair, mad red eyes. Horrible. Perhaps you and your pup would like to spend tonight with us. Safety in numbers. We'll do that, Storm. Thank you. Take care, all of you. We'll keep looking. He'll turn up. You'll see. <laughs> Hey, where's Golden? I don't know. Well, who cares? She doesn't speak to me, remember? I wasn't asking you, Arrow. I was asking everyone. 
We've got a beast on the prowl in the high country, and everyone is in danger. Oh, sorry, Thara. I was keeping an eye on the young ones. She must have slipped off. Well, no one stray too far today. We must all be together by nightfall. <laughs> we must all be together by nightfall. What's the matter, Sarah? <laughs> Not afraid, are you? It's just common sense, Arrow. If the beast attacks... Then... <gasps> the beast! The beast! What a load of rubbish. I simply don't believe that such a thing... <laughs> OK, Arrow, I guess you know best. You can spend the night out alone searching for gold. Uh, uh, what? What? Uh, oh, and leave these foals unprotected? <laughs> I'll stay close, just in case. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go and search for Golden. <laughs> hey, Mopo. <gasps> ooh, ooh, what? I haven't seen any sign of Golden, have you? A handsome filly did go by. But if you wish to catch her, you'd better fly. Huh? But that's towards the man's hut. Why should she go there? If in doubt or feel in danger, go to where you are no stranger. Hmm. True, Mopoke, that's probably it. But she's safe with us. I don't understand. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Who's to tell when there is fear what the mind does not make clear? I'd better find her. And you take care. But what am I telling you for? You've done better with this creature than any of us, Mopoke. To me, no one is beholden. Just doing me job. Now, go find Golden. Right, Mopoke. I hope he finds her safe and sound. Cos safety's a problem with the beast around. <sighs> Hello, Golden. Thaura, I, I wasn't expecting you. Uh, the, the man's not here. I've been watching for quite a while. I know. He's trying to track down the beast. It took two of his calves last night. Golden, it's dangerous being out on your own. The dingo pup is still missing. And why did you come here anyway? The, the herd's good protection and The I... hay! The, the, the beautiful sweet hay! I've missed it, see, and I, I thought just one mouthful... You should try some. It, it's delicious. <laughs> Doesn't taste bad. But is it really why you came? Huh? Oh no, it's the beast! <laughs> That's no beast. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good place to hide from the beast, pup. Your mother's been very worried about you. Follow us and we'll take you back. The man, it must be him. Quickly, follow me. <laughs> Something's really wrong. He never uses his gun. We better follow and see what he's up to. But we'll get our young friend home safely first. Oh, 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 the young pup's home, safe from the beast. Thank heavens he didn't become the creature's feast. Oh, Thara, I don't know how to thank you enough. <laughs> don't thank me. It was Golden's taste for hay that saved the day. <laughs> Where are you going? To find the man and see what he's up to. But it'll be dark soon, Thara. I've got to find out if he got the beast or not. I'll be all right. You go back to the herd with Storm. I don't want to go. Don't be silly, Golden. I won't go. You'll be safer there. But I only feel safe with you. All right, then. But keep close. He didn't get it. He's on watch in case it comes back tonight. We better get back. Oh, but it's a long way and, and dark. I had to find out. And you did want to come. Well, yes, well, I, I just felt that... <gasps> Can you see what's happening?
blood. But I only winged him. Uh, he'll be angrier and nastier than ever. Did you see where the beast went? No. But something tells me we better get out of here. Golden, keep up. It's too dangerous to be separated. I'm exhausted and scared. Oh, I'm sure something's following us, Thara. We can't rest yet. We must keep going. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Just give me a chance to catch my breath. Golden! Oh. What's all the noise about? Wombat, good on you. You're a real warrior. Beast or no beast, I need a good night's sleep. <laughs> You're badly hurt. Thora, I'm frightened. I don't feel well. It's okay, Golden. Maybe the man can help. He should be back at his hut by now. Come on, and this time stay in front. Good luck and good night. But it still didn't stop him. That creature's hide must be as hard as a rock. Oh, oh thanks, Thara. Are you okay? Yes, but don't thank me. I should have insisted you went back to the herd. It was my fault. Oh. I shouldn't have come down here in the first place. It doesn't matter. But the man will look after you, so just get better. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> Took real courage, and that mad animal could have killed you both. Uh, the word spread. I got here as fast as I could. Is she all right? The man will care for her. Steady, girl. Mm, that's a bad wound. I will fix it up as good as new. Mm, that's all very well, but what about the beast? It's still on the prowl, wounded, and as nasty as ever. Oh, sounds as though it's ready to attack again. Oh no. Where does it get the strength? I can't fight again. And the man can't see it from down there. <laughs> well done, Thara. He's terrified of you. Of me? But why? <laughs> Come along, gang gangs, follow me. We'll chase that beast all the way to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Go you gang gangs! <laughs> Just look at the beast on the run. It's a long time since the gang gangs have had such fun. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, no! What a blow! At this rate, the beast will never go! Now, wombat's coming through. Wombat's coming through. Disturb me sleep, would ya? Oh, oh, wombat's arrived just in time to turn the tide of battle. How sublime! All right, wombats. Push! I don't believe it! Goes straight to the sea, the beast's return will never be. I think that's the last we'll be seeing of that monster. Thank goodness for that. I don't think I could have held out for much longer. If the man Don't had... be modest, Thaura. Oh, back to sleep. Back to sleep. That's all I ask. A <sighs> good night. <laughs> As I was saying, that was very brave. You know, I think that brash young cult I once knew has almost vanished. Like a disappearing ghost horse? Like a disappearing ghost horse indeed. And in his place is an almost fully grown noble stallion. Now's the time to use all that knowledge, wisdom and skill you've been getting to prove that you're worthy of your destiny. King of the Cascade Brumbies? King of the Cascade Brumbies, Thara. And as great a king as ever your father was. That I'll be, Benny. You have my word. You all have my word. <laughs> so Thaura made a vow to all the creatures of the high country, and to Golden in particular. His fame spread far, and his deeds became those of legend even to creatures far away. But he was not yet ready to challenge for the crown.